it to the veranda. The veranda, the veranda. Do, 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 do. I just say, screw the Jedi. I am running. Oh god. That city. There he is, near the star chamber. Yeah, baby. This Jedi and bring this holocron to the veranda drop off point. What what I need to do? I need to uh, get another holocron apparently. And now, now we're Anakin. Okay, oh god, at this point we're Darth Vader. Okay, oh god, we need to kill this Jedi! Take his hologram. Oh god. Oh, what? No! We killed the Jedi, though. Oh, but I guess they, uh, they took it. It's like a capture the flag ordeal. The only way we, we can lose now, though, is if we uh, lose all 90 of our troops! Run! But it'd not just, like, be smart for the Jedi just to blow up our ship. I think apparently Coruscant is like an entire city of a planet. Excellent progress. With the That's pretty messed up. Secured, we can deal with the remainder of the Jedi here. Execute the three Jedi Masters who have poisoned the minds of their impressionable students against the Empire. He's killed younglings. To the cost of rebellion. So Skywalker, what are we to do? Oh no. Oh god. Oh gosh. Don't mess with the lightsaber, folks. I used to have the, um... I, may have, I might have talked about this before. Oh, God! I used to have, like, the uh, Make Your Own Lightsaber Creation Kit, or whatever. And uh, me and my friend would always, like, mess around with different colors and, like, dual blades and stuff like that. It was pretty, pretty cool. Ooh, oh, God! Jedi Master, more like Jedi Blaster. <laughs> Jedi Disaster. Jedi Homo Ergaster. Because you're devolved. Nice! The Jedi Temple has been secured. Has it really, though? Like, it's still filled with Jedi trying to kill us. Is that really victory? With the fall of Coruscant and the elimination of the traitorous Jedi, Palpatine's rise to power was complete. In recognition of our service and loyalty to the Emperor, the 501st were placed under the direct command of Lord Vader. Armed with deadly new weapons, blazing new ships, and shiny new armor, our presence let the galaxy know that the days of the Old Republic were well and truly over. We were establishing a new era. An era of order and peace. Is that really it? Like, it's not, it's not it for the campaign, but is that really it for the, um... Clone Wars. Huh. Like, I know, like, there is a Mustafar level. But I guess that's actually on the Galactic Civil War. Like, I guess you don't get to play, um... Anakin vs. Obi-Wan. That's sad. But yeah. Part 2 of the uh, campaign, I guess. Long time ago. Galaxy Far Away. Da 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 da
You all know that you love it. Don't lie. Rise of the Empire. The Old Republic has fallen. Emperor Palpatine has created a new galactic empire to rule in its place. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, has taken command of the elite division of troopers known as the 501st I thought I thought, I thought there was um, going to be more to that sentence. Now known across the galaxy as Vader's Fist, the 501st strive to establish order in the name of the Galactic Empire. On the once peaceful planet of Naboo, the Emperor orders his newly armored st stormtroopers to stifle the seeds of rebellion in diplomatic manner befitting to the new Empire. So I'm pretty sure the prequel trilogy is like what in introduced, like the word Sith didn't exist before, like, like obviously you had the concept of like evil Jedi, but I'm pretty sure Sith didn't come out come out until like episode one. Naboo, Imperial Diplomacy. The Queen of Naboo threatens the peace of the New Order. She must be silent. This is just evil. Let's do it. Hey, look at us. All Imperial and stuff. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure now we're going to get new uh, new types of troops. During the rise of the Empire, the Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as a major irritant. After a number of Naboo's ambassadors were sent home in various states of dismemberment, her newly elected queen broke off diplomatic ties and began exploring military options. Clearly, it was time for a regime change. A change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Our orders were simple. To infiltrate the city, take out their leader sending a clear signal to other potential troublemakers in the Empire. I think like for my 10th birthday or something like that, I got um a Darth Vader helmet that was like, uh, you know, I got Imperial officers and Dark Troopers. Dark Troopers are pretty much j Jet Troopers, but um, they, they, they were basically, they were in Battlefront 1, so you know what those are most likely. They're just like, instead of hovering about, they're just like, like a blast upward. Imperial officer is a bit different. They uh, get weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, now we're the Empire. Yeah, like, Welcome to the capital city of Thebes. like had a um. We will be performing a radical destabilization. My my Vader helmet had a voice changer, so I was all like, Ooh, do, 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 do. <laughs> oh God. I saw a picture on 9gag. It was like a still image of a. a some scene of. It was like a captioned image of a. Anakin versus Obi Wan. And there were a lot of people. The auto turret grid is still online. Keep you and your men out of the central plaza until we can find a way to shut down the turret grid. A lot of people apparently don't like the statement only a Sith deals in absolutes because that's an absolute statement and um, I find it very silly to like argue over like fictional stuff like Star Wars and stuff like that but um I sort of oh god I fall into the um idea that there's a difference between making an absolute statement and dealing in absolutes, I guess. And um, I saw this one guy that like broke it down quite well. And that uh, I I don't think I could explain it very well. So I'm not really sure why why I brought it up. But but it it I don't know it um it was a very interesting argument. I can't even remember, like, what was it that, what, um, and, 
What was it that Anakin said that Obi-Wan was responding to? I can't... Huh. Your new empire? Now it's onto the embassy plaza. Move out. What, what was it that Anakin said? I, I don't remember. Like, it, it was basically like breaking down that there is a difference between... Huh. Having absolute ideals and carrying out those and making actions brought on by those absolute ideals, I guess. It, it, it's weird to explain. Oh god. My mouse spazzes out sometimes. I, I don't want to get into arguing Star Wars, but... So far, so good. It's a cool argument, I guess. <laughs> You're wrong! Darth Vader's not Jewish! <laughs> I'm stupid, is what I am. It be nighttime. Look at all those stars. Those stars are dead. Those stars are billions of light years away. Ah, uh, don't wish on those stars. Oh, oh God! I'm barely even paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm just killing, killing these Nabooians as I as I do. I, as I do, you know what I'm saying? I kill those Nabooians. Thedians, the, would that be it? Thesians? Ones from Thede? Nabooians? I used to, um, oh god. I used to play a bit of basketball with a friend. And uh, we would play um, around the world, where um, you had to like take take a shot from like a different angle of, of the uh, of the court, and from for each angle we uh, named it after a planet, and uh, we would always um, remar or make remarks about how um, the other person was from a different planet. So like we would call no, each other like Jupiters if they were from Jupiter. Oh god, so many d dudes. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Ho ho! That's one. Oh my god. There's six people just just now I killed. Oh god. I'm trying. Oh, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Okay. Gotta target the turret. Target the turret. Yes. Personal Jedi bodyguards have broken from the palace. Destroy them. Trying to eliminate the guard. Where are they? What? what? Oh God. Please die. I'm on level like red. Oh god. I'm, I'm like the only one left. Supposedly Anakin's a bit Jesus-y. And that like... His... Like uh, how he like didn't have a father. Like his father is the force apparently. Which is a bit strange. <laughs> oh god. So I need to kill all these Jedi. Are you truly expecting me to do that? Like, maybe, like, if they do, just stand around like this. Please. If that Dark Trooper dies, then I lose.
I need ammo badly. Okay. Health two. Health two. Oh, I don't want to go close to him. Might snipe him. If I die here, what am I going to have to do this all over again? Oh god. Oh, nice. Two more. Two more. So we, so we do clearly have like more, more troops. 